boom what up youtube lth coming at you with a video 713 the bio city we up in here you know got some first round draft reactions that i gotta discuss so second and third pick overall you know had to trade up to, to get that third overall pick and of course we had to give up some some of our picks you know the 12 and the the 33rd in the second round which which is now arizona's along with our first round and third round pick for next year and we still own cleveland's first round pick and in return we got a 105th overall pick and the number third overall pick so the second pick we the texans drafted cj stroud which i had in my considerations if bryce young was to go first who is now a Carolina Panther. You know, congrats to him. But if not Bryce Young, go see J. Stroud, which they did. You know, because I've been saying this, Houston needs a franchise quarterback. Knowing that Davis Mills showed that he couldn't become that franchise quarterback. So Texas went ahead and got a six foot three quarterback in Stroud, straight out of Ohio State. Led the FBS with 85 TDs. You no know, flat out baller. I mean, he can ball out. Texans got that guy, and with all these reports and rumors that they were gonna pass on Stroud, well, looks like that narrative has been shut the freak down. CJ Stroud, welcome to the Texans. Can't wait to see you do good things in Houston, let alone buy your jersey. Can't fucking wait. And also, you know, of course, the Texans traded up with Arizona to draft Will Anderson, edge rusher out of Alabama. Oh, man. You know, I wouldn't mind Jalen Carter, but who went to the Eagles, but man, I'm totally turned up about Will Anderson being drafted by the Texans. You know, he caused big havoc in the opposing offenses. And one thing I noticed about drafting Will Will Anderson Jr. is that he's going to be teaming up with Christian Harris again, who also went to the University of Alabama. Though I'm not an Alabama fan, but he's going to be partnering up with Christian Harris again, along with D'Amico Ryan's defense, the head coach who also played football at Bama. Oh man, I feel good. I know we don't have a second round pick, and round two and three begins tomorrow, but like I posted on Twitter, I'm sure Casario has a plan of getting back in the second round because, you know, as I learned through off seasons in NFL drafts, you know, even good GMs got to take good risk for, in order for them, for good things to happen in the long run. You know, if it means making sure the risk that GMs take pay the hell off. And, I'm sure Casario has a plan of getting back in that second round and selecting, you know, for example, a center, because Houston does need another center, by the way. So the draft needs for this tomorrow is a center, you know, tight end as my honorable mention, a left, left or right guard. What else? I would say another D tackle, D tackle, another linebacker, either middle and or inside linebacker, or even outside linebacker, as another honorable my honorable mentions, and or oh, possibly hmm, a a safety for depth, you know or bring back Jonathan Owens for safety depth. But, hey, not sure what, the, like I said, the NFL draft is unpredictable, so let's see what Nick Casario does tomorrow. So, man, I'm amped up right now. I'm excited. Feels good representing this logo after getting Stroud and Anderson Jr. Yeah. Texans fans. I know Texas fans turned up right now after drafting Stroud and Anderson. I mean, oh my God. 
I'm so ready for the season, man. And I'm so ready for the Texans to start doing good history-wise. Because, man, haven't had a lot of success to show for, you know, in their 21 years in, in existence. So, hopefully, things will start to, to look for the better. But that's my reactions for round one of the NFL draft. CJ Stroud, Will Anderson, welcome to the Texans. LTH checking on the body hill, 713 to Bio City. I'm out. Go Texans.